Hello and welcome everyone, I'm Maddles and this is game number three of a best of three. The ace game, the all important, the decider, who wins, who loses, comes down to the result of this game on Neo Planet S. And up in the top right position, we have got the blue zerg from Team Quantic. It's Hian. And his opponent down in the bottom left, the red Terran from Team Acer, MMA. Okay, this series, like, okay, game number one was a solid 9 out of 10 for me. It was just full of action. Game number two, I'll still give that a solid 8. It was a very aggressive play by him, but that's what he's known for. He recognized the opportunity presented to him by the command center first of MMA. He metagamed him. He's like, turns on this map, they like command centering first because it's a big map. They want a macro. And he was just like, I am having none of that. I'm going to kill him. And kill him, he did leveling out this series 1 1. My goodness, it's been good. Seriously, if you have been enjoying this as much as I have, um, I, I would say I'm envious, but I'm not envious because I'm getting to enjoy it at least 24 hours before you because it will take me that long to get it up on YouTube. But yeah, it's cool, right? Seriously, we should high five. Like, if we could high five over the internet through time, that's what I do to each and every one of you watching right now. Um, so yeah. If you'd high five me back, leave a comment. Just be like high five. It'll make me feel good. It'll make me feel happy. Everyone loves high fives. Now, anyway, back to the point. This game and what's happening. Barrett's coming down. And it's just like that command center first. Not doing that again. Didn't work. Not doing it. Mistakes. Hyun, he's just like, yeah, 15 hatch though. Because since the dawn of time, Zerg players have gone 15 hatch against Terran. Because that is how they roll. It's like... Seriously, I don't even remember a time now before the 15 hatch. I'm sure there was a time before it, but no, no memory of it. Always 15 hatch, all the way. It's a really good build. It worked really nicely. Here, not getting the gas this time though, so he's not going to be going for any of those I want to kill you builds. Instead, just going for the I'm going to tech up a bit and then try and kill you builds, which is also a pretty fun way to play. MMA, being very cautious. Um, like, really quite cautious, just sitting back, no gas is taken yet, so you could go one rack CC, but scouting, this is like a huge difference, previous games, MMA was just like, nah, I don't need to scout, I'm tearing, I'm gonna make my wall off and you can't kill me, and then game number two, can did kill him, so game number three, MMA is like, maybe I should scout, and just see what's happening, the command center even being built up on the high ground, this is a much safer approach from MMA, realizing that he is actually playing Hyun, and Hyun is not afraid to just all in you at any period like Hyun is one of those players who would just be like I, d I don't know how he does it but sometimes he just like I'm gonna kill him now and then just floods units it's a really fun way to play Zerg actually just like s screw all this macro defensive play just be like just have a timer a random number generator and then whatever number it comes up with that is the minute that you decide to go and kill them and if you if you operate that way it's very difficult to defend against or plan against because it's just like what this is the like <laughs> 12 minute 10 mark, why is he pushing now? I don't know this build! And you just suddenly die. Um, it's fun. Like, seriously, try it. It's really good. Also, if you want another fun thing to try and you're a Terran player, make nothing but Widow Mines. Go into an unranked game and just make nothing but Widow Mines. It's hilarious. Put them everywhere. Like, especially on Neo Planet S, it works really well, but you can just, like, cover everything with Widow Mines. And then everyone dies. And it's really funny. And they get really cross. Not that I've ever done that. I'm not that much of a troll. I promise. Sometimes maybe I am. Anyway, Zerglings are here. The bunker has been identified. The SCV getting pulled a long way away from that. Um, a single Marine going to come down, put an end to this. This is all looking fine. Marine does need to be slightly cautious, though. SCVs may need to help the Marine. Um, there we go. Good little SCVs helping the Marine there. Bunker is down. Meanwhile, here, no sign of a third yet. Nine sign of gas needs to get that third probably in about the next 20 seconds. And that would be good timing. Um, around a six minute third is always good. He doesn't yet know, though, that this command center is built. You can assume it. Um, well, you can defer. Uh, sorry. You can, well, you can assume it because, yeah, let's face it. This bunk is down. Probably to be in a defensive position. Yes, it could be mind games, but mostly it's going to be for that command center to float down safely. Hyun sitting here does have his third base now on its way down. So he actually got it a little bit earlier than the six minute mark. So that's really quite nice to see. Double gas is now being taken straight off the back of that. Meaning Hyun, he can start teching up. And of course, this could still be um, an aggressive play. Neo Planet S is a map where aggressive play styles can work very nicely it's because of like the cliff area cliff area cliff area um, and a third base which is awkward to take but 
Still, it can also lead to quite long macro games because you can end up lots of counter-attacking paths and things like that. So, as we see at the moment, um, just additional barracks being added on here. So, a very different playstyle coming down from MMA at the moment. Not going down for that super fast star port and instead opting to really ramp up his production. Stim on its way down. Um, isn't going to be able to drop and that means Hyun can drone really quite heavily. I love this, by the way. If you're a Zerg player... Any ZVT, always on near planet S, get this double Evo chamber wall off because you can wall off so easily against Hellions, it is ridiculously strong and just gets you in a really good defensive position. So, always a really good thing to see. Hyun also got the Rotoron coming down here. Um, Hyun, you may be wondering, why does he get all of his tech at his natural? Um, it's actually quite an interesting way of building bases where if you get all of, most of your key tech at your natural base, it's easiest to defend, especially when you start getting a third because it's obviously central. So, it's even if you're being attacked at your. If you're being attacked to your third and main, getting between them can be hard. The natural is in the middle, it keeps things safe. It also is just a relatively nicer position to get in. These Hellions are going to be picking off some lava. Again, just hurting the production of Hyun a little bit. But Hyun, he's busy getting down his lair. He's got his 1-1 one -one upgrades on the way. Melee upgrades this time, so different to game number one where he went Roach Hydra. So therefore, that indicates he's much more likely thinking about going for, in, in the later stages, this kind of um, Zergling, Baneling, Mutilus composition. Having said that, though, Nine Roaches on the way out. This is in response to the Hellions. Really wants to shut those down. Doesn't want to take any damage. In terms of the drone count, he had already up to 53 because he macros like a boss. Literally. His macro is insanely good. His micro insanely good. His aggression good. Timing's good. But MMA, he's spectacular too. So that's why these games have been so good. Nice little Hellion Marine push out coming here. No upgrades yet. Stim is about to kick in. The first Medivax are about to hit the field as well. So this is going to be the quite typical two medevac stim move out time. You can also do this push with a plus one upgrade, but it does make it delayed a little bit more. So here we go, moving in here, a couple of marauders in the composition as well. The Hellions just burning against these roaches. The roaches don't really care, but they do want to get away because of course a big push coming in. The bailing nest is nearly finished. One one upgrades are getting pretty close to being done. Stim about a half done. Roach speed just getting started too, but this third looking been a bit of problems. Hyun does have his fourth already on its way up, so he can kind of afford to lose this base, but he doesn't really want to. But he has no choice now. This is a nice little move out timing from MMA. And Hyun is just having to flood units. He's got to try and get a fence up. 11 roaches on their way in because if you get enough roaches, you can hold this off. Unfortunately, the upgrades, only the carapace will affect them. And that's why it's quite good that actually MMA just killing it off and being like, well, no rush. Maybe, maybe I'll just go home now because I killed a base, took no losses. That's a good trade. And he'd be right in thinking that. This is a really good trade for him. He's delayed the third of Hyun quite considerably. And now just turning around and going home also means that all of the units Hyun just flooded with are now useless unless Hyun goes on the aggressive. And if he does, he's going to be in a tough spot because he's going to be pushing into a wall off. Nice defense positions. Hypothetically, there could be tanks up on the high ground. Generally not something you want to do at around the 100 supply mark. So this is all looking really good. The double upgrades coming in behind this for MMA. He's just busy sitting here being like, you know what, I've got together pretty much everything that I want at this moment. And he's now coming back over the map. This is a dangerous move, and he's got to be careful not to overcommit. Hyun getting a massive supply block there after losing those overlords. Six more in production, but of course this is hurting any production he's trying to get down at the moment. And that's why he's busy just like sitting there building up quite a large bank. Got to be careful. With this engagement, we can see the roaches are trying to push in. There's a couple of marauders in that composition, but on a huge number. This hatchery, once more, is going to be taking some damage. Overlord spreading creep, trying to prevent the third. The marines need to be careful with the spreading, though, because the banelings are down on the field. And banelings, of course, deal very well with marines. So that's something that we are seeing being a very tentative approach from MMA here. Doesn't want to take this out necessarily, unless he can do so safely without risking his army. Because if this goes down... He really doesn't have anything to defend with. Everything getting rallied across the map. And therefore, he needs to keep it safe so that if a counterattack came in, he'd be able to defend it. Hellions now are moving up towards the top position of the map. And this is actually a really good play from MMA. He's actually putting a lot of pressure down on the fourth while sending the Hellions up the top. That means Hyun's army back down to defend. The Hellions are going to be able to come straight in. A good number of them here. Five coming straight in towards his hatchery. Interestingly, not actually attacking the drones yet, and that means the Queen gets a couple of hits off the Zerglings, trying to come through. Not that many drones are going to get taken down here. Three workers killed this game so far from MMA. Nowhere near as effective as that could have been if he'd focused the drones immediately, rather than just attacking the hatchery and the Queen first. 2-2 two -two upgrades are on their way. Interestingly from Hyun, no sign of a spire. 
And the reason I say that's quite interesting is because he's not going for any harassment style play yet. He's just rather focusing on getting the Roaches, Banelings, and Zerglings down. A big Speedling Flood coming in towards the third base. Is there anything down here to defend? Well, yes, some infantry. But it will take a while to get up there. No multi prong attack. No units waiting up here to go in here and just keeping his Zerglings down. Ooh, 12 Banelings coming in. This could be a nice little push up. We do have a good defensive force sitting back here as well, just in case a counter attack or a push in was coming. But in comes a couple of Zerglings. Just taking a look, going, okay, what's here? Can I break it yet? Not able to do so. Sees all the infantry, and that means that he's probably going to just sit back here and wait a little bit. A double drop getting loaded up. Going to head in towards this fourth base location. Does it spot those units? No, it doesn't. Just out of range. Drop coming into the main base at the moment. Of course, Spore Call is coming down. Queen's sitting up here, ready to make sure that it can't come into the third either. The double drop now, unloading next to this group tumor. Scan's going to be used to pick that off, so just making sure that on a small lap, map like Neo Planet S, you don't allow the creep to get too far over. The infantry is going to get surrounded here. A quick pickup tries to go down, saves most of the stuff. But of course, a big pushing could come down here very soon. Only a single supply depot. MMA hasn't completed this wall off. It's slightly concerning. These units do need to do something, otherwise, they're pretty much just dead units at the moment. Wasting supply, not achieving very much. Um, apparently, the game was recovered from a replay there, so someone dropped. All very interesting. But yeah, as we see. Units being moved around, and now a top swing here from Hyun. He's going to probably try and actually put on a lot of... Woo! Okay, 58 Banelings. Hyun now maxed out. He has decided this is the point that this game is going to end. He's got the 2-2 upgrades. No plus vehicle attack weapons, which means the tanks will take two shots to kill off with the splash any Banelings. And of course, at the same time, these units down here, they have been spotted by the center tower. But that means a lot of MMA's units have been pulled down and that's a long way out of position in order to get back up here to defend the Marines pushing so far forward that means he doesn't have a complete defensive force Hyun baking straight into the natural base Zergling streaming in Hellion, uh, sorry, Banelings coming in Hellions and Marauders and Marines all getting annihilated on their way through here the main base is now going to be the target the SCVs being allowed to live for the moment but the main base is about to get siege so many SCVs going down but has Hyun overcommitted? He is running in now with these Banings. The supply depot is getting focused, even though they could just run straight past. This is trying to deal catastrophic damage to the income of MMA. He does still have his third base up, but Hyun managing to kill 33 workers. They're flooding now with so many speedlings. Is there enough army, though, on the ground to defend this? Well, yes, there is actually. MMA, though, most of it is sitting up in the main base trying to hold off a couple more of these Zerglings and Roaches but now pulling back to try and defend against this a few tanks are scattered around the tank up on the high ground going to be really helpful in dealing with the Speedlings now at the third trying to pick off as many SCVs as they can at the same time units moving in towards the fourth base of Hyun the engineering bay getting focused out more SCVs getting taken down in total now Hyun managing to kill 49 MMA down to just 15 workers to the 78 of Hyun who's pumping so many Roaches so many more Zerglings this push is getting held off the Marines finally cleaning up these two Roaches that killed the engineering bay in the main but Hyun, he has not done with this aggression yet. More units flooding in. He's going to try and end this game now. Drops are coming down everywhere though. And this is MMA trying to get some counter damage done. But of course, Hyun, look at this. Look at this income. No gas at all coming in per minute for MMA, who's pretty much broke on the mineral front. He's still mining under a thousand minerals, but he does have a relatively big army. Hyun now needs to make sure that he gets up a defensive force. He could use some Banelings at the moment. And that's why this fourth is going to get sacrificed. He doesn't need it. He knows that he's done critical damage to MMA's economy, so he now can sit back, get 30 bailings in, and try and engage his force. MMA knows that he's not going to have the time and that Hyun will be able to get up an army to defend against this. Hyun is in an incredible positioning. That timing push, so strong, dealt so much damage. The SCV count up to 20 to 76. Even mules can't make up for that. The gas income is where the big problem is, but MMA is starting to run low on that too, so he's going to be only able to pump marines. The medevac count is still up at 9. Luckily, none of those went down. But Hyun now going for the multi prong attack, morphing in more Banelings. He's going to push into the third, he's going to push into the natural main. MMA moving up, he's going to find what I call half of the army, pretty much split in two. But this means that the south side is more vulnerable. The center tower will now see this coming in. The Banelings trying to get some connections. The Zerglings attempting to get the surround, will be able to get it. But the Marines punching straight through that. The Lord is eating up a lot of those Baneling hits, but there are still more. There's the big connections that Hyun would have wanted. The third base is taking all the damage. The tanks are cleaning up some of it, but the third now getting. Vaporized MMA down to 18 workers and the GG comes down. Game number two, uh, sorry, game number three. Hyun takes it coming back from 1 0 down to take the series 2 1. Brilliant play, amazing game. God, I'm hyped. Wow. So, now I've recovered from that and I'm a bit more calm. Let me tell you the three things I'd like you to do. One is like this video because 
I know you all enjoyed it, so you should like it too. You should leave a cool comment, like, even if you just say wow, because that game, amazing. Number three, subscribe, because I get games like this out every day of the week, and you don't want to miss one of them. I'll see you tomorrow if you had another new cast. I'm Maddles, thanks for watching, and bye for now.